This instructional video will serve as a step-by-step -step guide to pairing together two Raptor shallow water anchors. Operating two Raptors is accomplished not by pairing two anchors to a single remote, but by pairing two Raptors to each other. When Raptors are first paired to each other, all devices that are then paired afterwards will then operate both Raptors. If you've completed the installation of a dual Raptor system, there are a couple of things you'll need to do to get your Raptors networked together. Each Raptor comes from the factory with two remotes already paired to them. Because of the way the network manages devices on a dual Raptor system, we're going to need to clear them out from the individual Raptors first. To do this, first make sure your Raptors are in the retracted position, then remove power from both of the Raptor pumps. You can do this using a power disconnect switch if you choose to wire your Raptors that way, or you can also remove the fuse from the power cable of each hydraulic pump. Next, doing this one at a time, press and hold the up button on the controller, and then restore power while continuing to hold the up button. The LEDs on the pump will flash and you will hear a beep, indicating that all devices have been cleared from the pump. Then you can release the up button. Repeat this process on the other pump. Next, we're going to clear the remotes. You can do this to all of your remotes at once. Press and hold the up and down buttons at the same time until the LEDs on the remotes begin to scroll. The remotes will remain in this state for 30 seconds and then stop. The remotes are now cleared. On a dual Raptor system, you can pair all four remotes back to the network if you choose, or you can pair just the ones you want to use and put the others in the glove box as backup. If you pair more remotes than the network allows, the network will automatically remove the remote that was least recently used from the network. But don't worry, Raptor has plenty of capacity to handle all of the remotes and one boat network accessories you might want to add. Now that we've cleared the networks of both Raptors, we're ready to pair the Raptors together. Make sure the Raptors are in the retracted position and that they are powered on. Press the pair button on each pump and the blue LEDs on the pumps will begin to flash, indicating that they are in pairing mode and are searching for each other. The pumps will remain in pairing mode for 30 seconds. If the pumps do not successfully pair together within 30 seconds, the pumps will emit a prolonged error tone, indicating that pairing was unsuccessful. If this happens, go ahead and repeat the procedure until the pumps successfully pair together. A successful pairing will be indicated by a rapid three-beep tone. Once the pumps have successfully paired together, they will then automatically go into port starboard designation mode. This is where we'll tell the Raptors which side of the boat they were installed on. The mode indicator LED will turn green on both pumps and begin beeping. Press the up button on the pump of the Raptor that was installed on the starboard side of the boat. The network will now assign the Raptors to their proper locations on your boat. Now that we've paired the Raptors together and have assigned their positions to the boat, we're ready to pair the remotes back to the network. To pair a remote to a dual Raptor network, Press and hold the up and down buttons on the remote until the LEDs on the remote begin to scroll. The remote is now in pairing mode and will continue for 30 seconds. Now, immediately press the pair button on either one of the dual Raptor pumps. It doesn't matter which one you choose. The blue LEDs will begin to flash on both pumps, indicating that the network is in pairing mode. It will remain in pairing mode for up to 30 seconds. When the remote successfully pairs to the network, you will hear a rapid triple beep, and all of the LEDs on the remote will flash. Repeat this process for any other remotes you may wish to use on the network. If pairing is unsuccessful, the pumps will emit a prolonged error tone, indicating that they timed out and that pairing was unsuccessful. If this happens, go ahead and repeat the procedure until the remote successfully pairs to the pump. For more information and instructional videos, be sure to visit our website at MincotaMotors.com and find us on YouTube under Mincota Motors.